Blues. Good evening. Passengers on an overnight BA flight to Kenya have been talking about the moment their plane was, in the words of their pilot, seconds from disaster. A suicidal passenger had burst into the cockpit, grabbed the controls and put the 747 into a steep dive. Among the 400 on board, Jemima Khan and the singer Brian Ferry. Here's Helen Wright. Tonight, the 380 passengers who boarded this British Airways 747 24 hours ago consider themselves lucky to be alive. Their flight came within five seconds of crashing after a deranged man forced his way into the cockpit, disengaged the autopilot and sent the plane plummeting 10,000 feet. The captain, William Hagen, was injured as he wrestled with the intruder, who was eventually overpowered by passengers and crew. These photographs taken by a passenger show that moment. Singer Brian Ferry, on the left here, was one of the first-class travellers who witnessed the man being restrained. Ferry said tonight he was very frightened. The crew then carried the 27-year-old Kenyan to the rear of the cabin, where he was strapped into a seat. The man, said to suffer a mental illness, was arrested when the plane touched down. Jemima Khan, her children, mother and brother, were also on flight 2069. As the drama unfolded, they, like other passengers, feared for their lives. Zoe McNaughton from Kent says everyone thought it would crash. You had no idea what, what was going to happen. The plane was like, thought it fell really like quickly and every, every, all that stuff went up in the air. People hit their heads on the ceiling. And it really did feel like that was going to be it. Until the captain told them the man had been seized. Uh, the pilot came on and he was out of breath. He could barely talk. And um, he said, I'm here to tell you that a madman entered the cockpit and tried to take control of the plane to crash it with the intent of committing suicide for himself and the entire plane. At that point, he was having trouble talking, he was very out of breath, and he stated that um, they had the man under control and that he thought everything was okay at that point. BA has praised the actions of its pilots and launched an inquiry to see what can be learned from this incident. Though aviation experts recognise guaranteeing 100% security on every flight is almost impossible. Helen Wright, ITN. Temperatures are falling again tonight to their lowest levels of the winter. In many places they stayed at zero or below all day. Last night in Belfast and Hereford it was minus 13. Any kind of travel has again been difficult. With more, here's Paul Davis. It's another night when police in many areas are advising motorists to stay at home. In some parts of Scotland, there's been fresh snowfall and temperatures are expected to plummet to minus 15 degrees tonight. Northern Ireland has arguably experienced the worst conditions today, freezing fog and ice contributing to dozens of accidents. In London, icy roads were blamed for this accident when a bus crashed down an embankment in the Crystal Palace area. There were no passengers on board, but the driver had to be cut free by fire crews. With snow and ice causing problems from northern Scotland to Cornwall, the AA has reported its busiest day of the year, with more than 3,000 call-outs. And the weathermen say there's more of the same on the way. Again, a severe frost across much of Britain tonight. Again, we expect temperatures down around minus 10, I think, in many places. Um, any roads that are, are still wet or covered in snow will just freeze over again. The frozen conditions have caused even more delays on the rail network and have severely hit the weekend sporting programme. The West Ham players trained in the snow for a Premiership match that's still on, but many big games in England and Scotland have been postponed. Wolverhampton Wanderers are confident their first division match against Stockport will go ahead despite five inches of snow on the Molyneux pitch. They're hailing a success for their undersoil heating particularly as neighbouring Aston Villa's premiership fixture is a casualty of the weather. Paul Davis, ITN. A British charity worker has been killed in an ambush in the central African country of Burundi. Charlotte Wilson was a VSO worker across the border in Rwanda. She was one of a group of 20 people shot dead by Hutu rebels after they were ordered from the bus they were travelling in. She was 27. And an Oxford University rower is believed to have died after his crew's boat was hit by a freak storm during training in Spain. The other seven in the boat reached safety. Leo Blockley from Lancashire is still missing. Ed Perkins reports. After a day on the river Ebro in northeastern Spain, rescue teams tonight postponed the search for 21-year-old Leo Blockley. It'll resume early tomorrow morning. 
The Oxford University lightweight rowing crew had been training here when their boat was overturned by a gust of wind. Eight of the nine-man crew were rescued within minutes, but it's thought Mr Blockley was swept away in the swollen river after he tried to swim the hundred yards to shore. One of the launches accompanying the rowing boat also capsized. Its crew member managed to escape. The president of the local rowing club called today's accident a total disaster. He said in 30 years we've never seen anything like it. Police teams will be joined tomorrow by divers from the Red Cross. A university rowing club spokesman said their thoughts tonight were with Leo Blockley's family. But a full 12 hours after the accident, hopes of finding the young student alive have almost certainly vanished. Ed Perkins, ITN. The New Year's honours are out tomorrow, but one of the main announcements has already been made. American film director Steven Spielberg is to become an honorary knight. The Oscar-winning creator of E.T. and Jurassic Park, among others, got the award for his services to British filmmaking. But because he's American, he won't be able to call himself Sir. And that's it from all of us on the ITV News team. Good night. Good evening. It's already frosty out there. Temperatures dropping like a stone as it goes through the night, so a hard frost tonight. Still a scattering of snow showers around the coasts and hills, but lots of ice to watch out for on the roads wherever you are. So we're stuck with this cold weather through tonight, tomorrow, and into the start of New Year's Eve too. But then during New Year's Eve, we'll see a change coming in from the south and west. The Atlantic weather fronts eventually push the cold air out of the way. We'll have more on that in a second. As far as tonight is concerned, though, it's frosty for everywhere. I think you'll find tonight temperatures perhaps down to minus 12. Some snow showers around the coasts and hills, but most places dry. But watch out for freezing fog patches as well as the ice on the roads. And then tomorrow, pretty much like today, there won't be as many snow showers in the northeast tomorrow as you've had today. I think fewer more up in the north and west, perhaps. But elsewhere, it's a dry day, some wintry sunshine, but some patches of rather stubborn freezing fog will hang on well into the day. And so, as you expect, it's going to be another cold one. Temperatures struggling to get above freezing. Some places will stay below freezing all day. And then that change comes along during New Year's Eve. For the start of the day, it will be another cold one, I think you'll find. But the weather front's eventually pushing the cold air out of the way as we go through New Year's Eve. So for the day, I think most places fine and dry, but then the rain coming into the southwest during the afternoon and evening. As it comes further north, the rain will turn to snow for a while, especially over the high ground from Wales, the Midlands, northwards. And then as we go through the start of New Year's Day, you'll see that rain band moving further north, yet more snow, strong winds, perhaps even blizzard conditions for a while on the high ground before it eventually turns milder, but there is certainly a risk of disruption as we go into the New Year's period. Good night. Power, Jen. Power, whatever the weather.